It's your open source advocate and I'm back with another video and it is not the video that I was expecting to be posting right now, but it's one that I think is important. I have moved from the rocket chat server that I was using for my discuss forums for my discussion forums over to matrix and it's because of a few things. Um, rocket chat has made some changes where they were requiring you to r run your updates within two versions of their update, or they would break your desktop and your mobile clients, which wasn't a great experience for my users, but I'm also a very busy person. And as fast as they were pushing out updates, sometimes I didn't have a chance to go run the updates that quickly. So, uh, that was a problem. One of my big updates last year really caused issues and Scotty from Scottabyte jumped on and helped me really fix that and get it going again. So total props to him. He is a, a incredible person when it comes to any kind of home labbing kind of stuff, uh, running any kind of services. If you haven't checked out his channel, you definitely should. And I'll put a link in the description for that. He is the guy who wrote the book. If you've ever heard that term, you know, these are the people that wrote the book. He is the person that wrote the book in a lot of these cases. So uh, he knows about infrastructure and networking and he covers a lot of really great stuff that helps with videos like mine and videos that he's putting out about running open source projects in, in the home. Um, Rocket Chat just is one that I don't have time to continue to maintain. I think it's still an absolutely incredible chat system. And I think it's, it's a really great chat system. I just think it's one that I'm not able to put the time in right now to do. Whereas my, my Dendrite server that I run for my home, for my family has been running like a rock. It has been great. That doesn't mean it'll continue to be that way, but so far it's been great. So I set up a second Dendrite server to be my discussion server. And um, if you go to discuss.opensourceisawesome.com like you used to to get to my rocket chat, this is what you're gonna get. And it doesn't really tell you anything. It just says, hey, it's running. So that's not the way to get to it anymore. And I wanted to make a video about how you will get to it or how you can join it. Cause I would love for you to join it. If you're already on matrix, you don't have to join my matrix server, but if you haven't joined matrix yet, then I want to talk about how you would do that. So I'm going to open up a private tab or a private window here. Uh, if you'll go to app, Dot element dot IO, it will take you to this page here if you're not already logged into a matrix server. If you have a matrix account, you can just do sign in and this will take you to their web element client. You don't have to use the web client. You can get desktop clients and mobile clients and every kind of other client in the world. There's a lot of security around matrix. So once you log in the first time, you get this kind of set of security keys and you need to maintain that login for a little bit. So if you go add a desktop client, it's going to say, Hey, we need to verify that this is actually you and it's going to send a message to that mobile to that that web client to say like was this you and you can verify yourself there you can also get some keys to help verify yourself more easily with clients later there's lots of different ways to do it but definitely on that first run stay logged into the browser till you get your desktop client logged in and, and verify that one from that point on you can use the desktop client to verify the other clients where you log in and you can manage what clients you're signed into and all kinds of things from one place it's pretty great um, and most of them offer those features I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and all of my patrons over at Patreon. Seriously, you guys make this so worth it for me to do these videos every week. I really, truly enjoy it, and I just can't say thank you enough. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe. Let YouTube know that I'm doing a good job by subscribing to the channel. Plus, you'll get notified when I have new videos coming out. And finally, if you're enjoying what I'm doing, give it a like. Just click on that thumbs up. And that way YouTube knows that you like it and they'll pass it along to other people that might enjoy my content as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you again. Let's get started. That said, uh, you can come here if you don't have a matrix account. You can do create an account. Now by default, it's going to try to set up a matrix.org account. You can hit the little edit button right here and you can just type in D-I-S-C-U-S-S dot open source is awesome dot com and I'll have that in that little description and in the show notes so you can go and grab it if you just need to copy and paste it that's fine but once you've done that hit continue it's going to check and make sure can I find that server and if it can then it's going to let you get to this stage where you'd put in a username or something like that so if we put in Bob as long as Bob's not already in use on my server that's a perfectly fine username if you want it um, put in a really strong password you don't want somebody to get into your account ever so Use a really strong password. Use a password manager if you can. That's always better. And then you're going to hit continue. Now, when you do this, it's going to take you to a recapture page, which is the page where it says, like, check the box to make sure you're human. And it may pop up something for you to click the motorcycles or I don't know. 
be patient, go through it the first time just to prove that you're human because I'm trying to keep scammers and bots and everything else from signing up for my site. I know that's not always easy. And if I have to, I will disable registration, but I don't want to. I want you guys to be able to register for my matrix server if you want to. Now, the rules are you have to keep it legal. You have to keep it clean. You have to keep it around open source, please. You know, I'm, I'm asking for very little there. Um, other than that, have the discussions that you want to have. Reach out to each other. Ask for help. Come over and find out what, what we're offering. I think there's a lot there. So all that said, once you're logged in and signed up, you can set up some different clients to get in there and do things. So I'm logged in right now on my matrix.org server through the Element client right here. Um, now, not my matrix.org server, but through my own server on the Element client here. And I've got these different rooms that are set up. So you can see there's been some discussions and things like that going on already. And we've got some different rooms set up where people can post different uh, questions and thoughts. Now the cool part is I've got some desktop clients where I'm already logged into these things as well, which is great. So I can really kind of go check out what people are saying and see what's going on. I've got the main room here. I've got a home automation. I've got a help me please room. I've got open source in business and I've got a networking room. And then of course you can see there's some private chats that are going on as well. Sometimes the secret is understanding how to find these things. If you register for my server, you should be able to find these rooms no problem. Um, if you're a member of my server specifically, but you don't have to be. This is a federated chat system. So each of you can run your own server. You can spin up your own server if you want to and then join my server and it's fine. The way you do that just depends on the client that you're using. But generally, you're going to go and search for some other space or try to find some other space. So I'm on my, my discuss.opensourceisawesome.com here. I'm going to open up my other one that I use for my home and my family. Um, and I'll kind of show you how I do this. Um, so just depending on the on the chat client you use, this one's called Shindy Chat. I really like it. It's really great. It runs on Linux. It's awesome. Um, the other one's called Nico, N-H-E-K-O, and I think they have Linux, Windows, and Mac clients, so it might be an Electron app, but um, they run really well. So I'm just going to escape out of this. What I would do to find a different server or a room in a different server, so if I wanted to go ask a question about something that has a, a you know a matrix channel then i would i would go do this to actually like get there so i click on the search and then i'm just going to start typing um, so in this case i'm going to try to go and show you how to add a server to search on so if i type in help me please it's going to say public rooms is that what you're looking for so i can click on public rooms you can see i've already added this server but what you get is you get this little drop down that says search on this server for this room so you may not have it yet, but you can click on this, add a new server. And then you can type in my server address, which is discuss.opensourceisawesome.com. And then click on add. And it's going to say like, hey, you've already added it, but it's, it's fine. So we'll click on add. It's going to be there and it's going to be like, okay, what are you looking for? So I'm looking for the help me please channel. We can go back and retype it to see if it'll help us search for it one more time here. Um, so we're going to say help. And there it is, help me please, right there. All I had to type was help, and then I can type, I can click join. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna try to let me join that channel, and there you go. You can see I'm already logged in, and I can see the chat history for what's going on. And if I go back to my other browser here, and I go back to the help me please channel, I'm gonna see that I just joined. So there it is, I'm, I'm logged in, and I can say, hey, uh, Brian, and it's gonna fill out the rest of my stuff there, which is cool. Um, let me see tab click it there we go and just say boom and then I can go back to my other client and I see the message of course because we're chatting back and forth so this is awesome I love this I love matrix I think it's a really cool product it's got a lot of really cool capabilities and depending on the, the client you get will depend on what experience you have with it for sure but um, I've set up two different clients just because I know I can add another server to the same client I just haven't done it yet uh, but yeah, I love I love this one. And there's some really great ones out there. So for mobile, I love Fluffy Chat. If you haven't tried it, it's awesome. I really, really like it. And they're putting more and more into it all the time. There's, of course, Element. That's the main chat client for uh, Matrix. There's Element X if you're using a newer Matrix server. I don't have um, the sliding sync protocol set up yet, which Element X kind of requires, I think. But be aware um, that that one's a newer client and it's got some newer things on it. But yeah, I... I I'm really enjoying this. I hope you guys will come and join into my server and be a part of the discussion because the Help Me Please channel has always been a great one where I've had a lot of support from people and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that you guys are willing to get in there and help people when they need help. 
Um, and it's awesome. And some of you guys that have been longer time members, once you've signed up, I'm going to go through and probably set you as admins. If you don't mind having that responsibility or a moderator, not an admin, but a moderator for those channels, just to make sure that everybody's kind of being polite and things like that, of course. Hopefully, no need to take any action ever. That'd be great. Uh, but yeah, um, for those of you who are newer, once you've been in and, and had some interactions and I've seen how you're working and things like that, I might want to promote you to moderator. I'm always going to ask you before I do it. I'm not just going to do that to you because I don't want you to feel like that's a responsibility you have to take on. It's something that I'm, I'm asking of you, but I always appreciate the help for sure because I'm not always around. I have other things that I have to do just like everybody else. So when you guys are around, man, it's great to have somebody else answer questions. And there's so many of you who know but so much more than I do about all of this, but this is what's going on. So if you're curious about how to sign up, I just went through how to, how to register for my actual server. If you're already on Matrix, you don't have to register for my server. Just go through and do what I just did where you go and you search and you say, hey, add this uh, particular server and you can search for the different rooms I've got. And I've got them listed back here on my uh, on my Bookstack site. So um, yeah, I've, I've got a whole thing about it over here. And if you go search, um, we can do discuss. And it's going to come up with discussion forums. So when you click, I've got a whole thing that shows you how to go through this process of signing up. So you edit and then you can type in the correct uh, information there. And I've got little instructions in between each, each step, but I gave you screenshots, username, password, go through the recapture. And then I've listed out the, uh, the pages here, but I also listed them. If you need to search using the server name, you should be able to do that as well. So you can definitely do that and, and get out there and, and just add us in. Um, it, it'd be awesome. I hope to see a lot of you guys joining up and making my server really active. I loved that I had it all in Rocket Chat. I loved that you guys were there for, with me for years. I hated to switch it, uh, but I felt like it was time because I've been just dealing with this for so long at this point. Um, I also put a post out there on YouTube. So if you're not following me on YouTube or subscribed to where you get these uh, posts, definitely subscribe because you get that information here as well. And I, I linked back to the discussion forum post over here so that you could get those details. So if you guys have gone and, and signed up, and that's awesome, so I appreciate that. But yeah, you can just use the web client as well. You can just use the Element web client. You don't have to sign up for a specific or set up a specific desktop or mobile client, but I like having them. I think they're great, and I think it works really well. Um, I'm pretty excited about this. So just wanted to let you guys know what is changing and why is some incredible open source software. It's a federated system of chat, which I love, and Rocket Chat has federation. Don't misunderstand. But the Matrix Federation for me has been easier and finding things and setting things up has been easier. I had a couple of things not set up right. So uh, Scotty and Jack and a few of the guys that joined early helped me figure out like, hey, even though I thought my rooms were set to public, I didn't have everything set up correctly for them to find them. So I was able to go and fix that. That's why I was able to show you guys how to go find those things right now. So um, thanks to them again for helping me get things set up correctly and understand how to set that up. And if you're interested in setting up your own server and you want to know how do you make your channels public, um, leave me a comment in the video or join my channel and let me know that you'd like to see a video about that. And I'd be happy to go through what I had to do. It was super simple and it took almost no time whatsoever. So uh, definitely let me know that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that thumbs up so other people can see it. Make sure that they know about it. And then subscribe for sure so you get announcements about new videos coming in the future about amazing open source products. And I'm going to give you all kinds of detailed instructions on how to install those things and get them up and running. I already have videos on Dendrite and how to get this Matrix server up and running. I will link to that in the show notes below as well. Thank you so much. Tell your friends about it so they can come along this open source journey with us. And I'll talk to you next time.